Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kyra, and I am here today because a lot has changed since January, including my altar space. And so I thought it would be fun to do a little updated tour. So I am sitting at my desk. My altar space is in the living room of my house, and my house is not very big. So I don't have like a door or anything fancy, but this is where I work, this is where I spend my time, and I've just recently figured out kind of how to, how I want it set up in my head, and my computer's making noises. So I thought now was a really good time to look at this. So I'm gonna turn you around and we're gonna get started. Okay, so where the pool noodles are, and ignore the big box, we're collecting some recycling, um, but where the pool noodles are is the stairs right up to my door. So I'm literally right in the entrance, right? This is my shelf. I did have a desk here for a bit, but I didn't like that. So this shelf has just assorted randomness thus far. That top shelf is all of the decks in uh, Purgatory that I am moving on. These are ones that I'm for sure moving on. And then down here are various deck boxes and, and some ones, some that I'm moving on, some that I'm unsure about, um, things that are waiting. So this is mostly purgatory on this shelf, except this bottom shelf is empty boxes from decks. I don't like to get rid of the boxes until I feel certain that I'm going to keep the deck. Or if the box is really pretty. And then you turn, and here is my my setup. So let me stand... Oh, there's something behind me. Hold on. Let me stand back and give you the full view. So to get the shelf, there's my full view panorama. And then it continues and ends there. So that's what we're going to look at. I already showed you the bookshelf. I'm not going to show you in my drawers of my desk because they're chaotic. This first desk I have here is my work desk. And it actually, like you can see, so there's a desk. This desk that I bought off Facebook Marketplace, it has three pieces. It has a desk, a connector, and another desk. There's the... Uh, edge of it. So I decided to actually like look at them as different things. So this is my work desk where I sit down. I'm getting rid of that calendar. I have a little caddy here which has all of my markers. I'm using pens and my charm cast tarot. But this is where I sit at my computer to do my work and I have my journal open beside me through the day when I'm working. And then this journal is my new journal, which um, you should have seen the flip through of that by now. Uh, if you have, it's up above in the cards. This is the journal that starts in October. Um, so my water bottle, my tea, my journal, and these little cue cards are just, I'm preparing to officially go through uh, Lisa Popez's Tarot with Training Wheels on YouTube. I will link that uh, playlist up above in the cards. It's a great tool and I'm going through it with my wife actually. So I got, I prepared a bunch of cue cards. So that's my work desk. And then the next corner is like my readings corner. So I have my tarot shelf and it is fairly full. There's even one. Oh dear. Um, I don't, I need a better spot for my tarot vampires. Uh, but like even the Brady tarot is hiding. So it's not particularly organized at this moment in time. Um, but I've got, this is the vast majority of my collection. There's only like a couple decks that aren't here, which you'll, you'll still see. So this is my tarot shelf right in the corner of my house. The only sh uh, shelf that's like fully organized is, this is my quick grab shelf. These are, and, and I mean, okay, there are some just like in boxes, but this is mostly 
stuff I want to be able to grab quickly. So I make sure I have my This Might Hurt, my Star Seeker, my Heavenly Bodies, my Shimmering Veil, my Ellis Tarot. Uh, this is like the quick grab. I put the guidebooks down there. And then I have here a little like altery kind of setup. I do plan to add a bit more little crystals, bits and bobs. But for now I have, this was a salt lamp. Apparently I forgot this when I did the gentle tarot unboxing yesterday. That's uh, linked up above. This is a salt lamp. Except the, it broke and it was cheap, but it's still pretty. So I put it there. I got it for a present. Uh, this is my honeycomb co this is where i i uh, get all my i all my astrology details um i could look them up online but this is a, a planner you pay for it it gets delivered to you and you don't have to do any calculating so it tells me the pink ones are when a planet is moving from one sign into another the green ones are when the moon is moving from one sign into another and then the blue, the ones I've highlighted blue are all my transits. Some And it's how the planets in the sky are interacting with the planets in my chart. So today, as I'm filming this, it's the 7th. The moon, at 7.57 a.m., the moon conjuncted, and which means it was very close to my Saturn. On the days without the highlights, you can see the gray ones are the moons. The black ones are, everyone has this transit, and then the blue ones are specific. So I use that to reference, and then here is where I film, and where I do a lot of reading sessions. So I needed to keep this space clear, so that way I could set up for clients. Because um, I do a two-screen method, I'm, I'm a professional tarot reader and astrologer, my link is in the description box of my website. You can check those out there. So I have a screen. My computer screen faces my face. And then this is where I have the cards. So I can I can do both. It's right beside me. And I can have my camera, like the arm, the reticulating arm that holds my camera. So it's facing down. So I have that. And this stays relatively open, but like I said, I would like to put like a couple little crystals, maybe something on the, on the walls surrounding it. But that is, so this is my, my readings, right? Um, also, this is a place where I might like sometimes, oftentimes actually, I will pull a reading and I'll leave it out and I'll interpret it like the next day. I don't always have time and energy and just the space in my brain to pull a reading and interpret it and journal it all the time, all in one sitting. So sometimes I pull it and lay it out and it stays there until the next day when I interpret it. So that sometimes happens here as well. So that's that. And then the next part of my desk Oh yeah, look at that. That's that is the cleaning supplies cart is where I have my main like sitting altar at my main altar and my stuff. So unfortunately we have very limited space in here. Like I said, so I do have some paintings up top. I've got my, all of my like spiritual witchy books are up there. I have, and then on the middle shelf, let's go a bit closer here. I have, previously filled honeycomb my file effects which I'm not using I really would like to find a way to use it I, I've been using it as a grimoire I've done videos of it which I will link oh and I love it but I'm meh. um this box is empty this is where my old journal was in so I should really get rid of that and then that is another empty journal I have all of these are filled journals mostly uh here is where they are not filled anymore so this is partially filled this is partially filled this is partially filled and then i have other fancier looking books i have my old my first wedding band 
I have a new one because this one doesn't really fit me anymore on this little like tree trunk and then here I have my earth magic oracle which I'm keeping here because I am using it um, at my altar which I'll talk about in a minute but I've got some empty journals here on top is a little bit of a mess right now because this is just the reality of what happens. This is my gentle tarot stuff because I'm thinking on where to put it. I'm thinking of setting up um, maybe my dresser as a little bit of an altar to work with this here. I don't know how realistic that is, so I'm, I'm reflecting. And in the meantime, while I'm thinking about that, um, I've got it here. And then I have Rebel Witch can go back up on the shelf. I'll deal with that in a minute. Weave the Liminal, I really want to reread. And then I have my Anatomy of the Witch because I'm preparing and working on getting this up for like deck book club videos here on the channel. I will share the first video of that up in the cards as well. Um, so that is there for now and then weave the liminal i was saying i want to reread that but i want to put it back up on the shelf so and then the dreams of gaia tarot guidebook is here because of where i use it um the tarot is down actually i have an idea so i'm just going to quickly tuck those books give me one sec okay i've tucked those and now for the big altar. So I was having trouble determining what to do because I used to use an old coffee table. Like, okay, so my altar evolution has gone like this. First, my first altar was a shelf inside my wardrobe that I had to close the door and open a door to get to. My second altar was set out on my dresser in my bedroom. My third altar was an old coffee table, which we weren't using anymore, which I used in my bedroom as well. Um, and I really liked that, except I wanted like an official nice piece. So when we moved, I was like, I want a new altar. And I wasn't sure what to go with. I wanted something that I could sit at with a chair. What I got was this absolute stunning piece of furniture, which we're going to go and see in a minute or two, um, or up next, I should say. Um, and I got it. And what I don't like is that I tend to like, like it's fabulous for storage, but I tend to mostly like to like stand there. I can sit there in this chair and I have, like that's where I did my birthday ritual. I did a vlog of that video. If there's room in the cards, I'll stick it up above. Um, but it's not, um, that's that's a space I just wanna walk up and, and do things, right? So we'll talk more about that. But basically what it amounts to is that I wanted a, a an altar that was approximately desk size. So now I've adapted this as my altar. And then that is like my working altar space. Uh, it's like my crafting altar, which we'll get back to. So this is my full working, like this is my altar. If I want to set something up to look pretty, it's going to be, it's going to be done here. I do think I am going to have other altars like, um, I'm think like I said, I'm thinking of setting up one on my dresser, which I can show you that too, but it's not done. Here, what I have so far though, this is the altar where I spend the most time. And this is where I journal actually. So let me scooch in closer so I can actually show you the things on it. So in the evening, I grab my journal and I put it here. And this is where I do. And then it looks like that. Like, how fabulous. Um, and, and then this is where I do 
my my journaling in the evening. If you saw my um, August in my tarot practice, again, if there's space, I'll, I'll flick it up in the cards. Um, I do an evening reading, right? I sit down. So I, every evening I take my journal off my desk. I stick it here. I do my, my nightly journaling here. And then I leave it here until the morning. And then in the morning I come and I do my daily pull. And then once I've done that and I'm starting work for the day, I move the journal. So basically where my journal is kind of signifies if I'm working or not to an extent. So the journal stays there. Which, by the way, this absolutely stunning uh, cloth is by Peggy Popez. I will link her Etsy shop in the description. On the left side because i have two distinct sides um i'm trying to get this to stay but it's not staying quite so nicely as the other i had a, a journal there but i i didn't end up liking it um still undetermined where i'm gonna put this but this needs to be here because it goes with the stuff on this side of the altar because this is my Hecate side of my altar. So I have a candle that I made for her. It has, this is a black obsidian crescent moon. This is tumbled black tourmaline. And then I have a black obsidian dagger, lapis lazuli. And this is a row, nope, this is Sorry, this is Brandberg Quartz. Love this piece. So I have my little, my little candle. And it actually is supposed to like, go like that, but that's fine. Um, and then this dragon I got from my dear friend, Rana. And the dragon guards my, my egg. This is called Agni Manatite and it has done sorry trying to get it to focus the inside here has been um, tumbled it's partially tumbled um, I look at this as one of my seers stones I don't really use it all the time yet but I like it as one of my seer's stones. So if I really want to focus on something, I have this and one other stone. So I put this one, which felt appropriate for the Hecate side of my altar, over here. And then I put the other on the other side, which you'll see. I have this little selenite glass bowl, which has in it my black obsidian spider poison ring. love it it also has my mala from a witch's moon box and this mala is black obsidian smoky quartz and hematite in it now my mala unfortunately broke so i restrung it except i just used embroidery floss and i created a new tassel for it and I love it. The tassel I have on it. So it has the word protected. It has a charm with the word protected. It has a, a key. It has the word here. This is hard to do while holding a camera. Um, imagine. Let's try this way. So we've got Protected, imagine a pentacle, the key warrior, it's got a spider, and it's got this adorable little kitty looking at the moon. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm quite heartbroken that I haven't used it in a while, but I restrung it because it broke. Um, but I used embroidery floss and it's not solidly done. So it, 
so I don't touch it a lot right now. I need to get some proper, um, some proper like mala thread so I can um, restring that properly. But so that sits there in this little selenite glass bowl. Um, and then this, this part's fun. So this is a little Hecate box I got from my Hecate of the Witch's Moon in October 2020. Um, that was actually when I first worked with her. And then I thought, um, I thought it was just like a temporary thing. I was incorrect, but that's okay. So it opens. I have to remember to uh, not put it flat because she doesn't like that and I forget. And inside of it, this is like one of my favorite things ever. I can't lie, I kind of wanted to put my vamp my tarot vampires inside of that, but it didn't fit. Um inside of it is my Dreams of Gaia pocket edition tarot. So, this is why I'm trying to keep um the guidebook close by. But I don't know where to tuck it. One sec, I need both hands to uh, tie this. Okay. And so that lives in here for me to work with it um, on the dark slash new moon. And then I have this little pedestal. It's a candle, a, a candle holder. Uh, it's meant for pillar candles, I believe, but you can put whatever on it, which I love. Um, so I have, let me show you the crystals first. So at the back, whoop, shifty, shifty. At the back, big hematite. Love the feel of hematite. Then I have this smoky quartz. And this is a um, amethyst. Oh, I can't remember. There's a specific type, but I can't remember. But I love it. And I love this little, like, um, thing there. I really want to put this on a wand. And then this, I've shown this before. This is my sphere. This was my first ever crystal sphere. And I got it for Christmas, or for Yule, my first Yule from Zariah. Uh, like, it was the first time we exchanged gifts, and that would have been in 2019. Um, this is Smoky Alestial Quartz, and it just sits on a little hematite ring. And then this little guy, okay, this is from... This is from my new journal. It's just a little paper clip and it looks so cool. And I love how it looks like that. So I just, it just sits here looking cool because I think it looks cool. Scooching over. Sorry, I'm in my chair. This is where I put my daily card. So there's my daily card as I'm filming the unknown from the Cosmovisions or it's equivalent to the judgment card. And then... This is that card from the Earth Magic. So I pulled this with my new moon reading. This is how it's developing now. My new moon reading, I do a reading uh, com communing with Hecate. And then I pull an Earth Magic card as a little message from my ancestors to go with it. This is going to sit here until the next new moon. And then I'm going to stick it into my Book of Shadows and excuse the little fly. And I'm going to reflect on it. So that's that. And then this side is my ancestor side. So I have my little candle. This one unfortunately fell on the floor. And so I lost a bunch of the herbs. But I have a little, and that's why there's hair sticking here in the candle. But I have a little offering spell bottle I made. I like doing... I, my brain, my neurodivergent brain doing offerings every day and stuff like that is extremely hard for me to build the habit of. 
So something like this, I spent time and energy making this and it's just their little offering spell bottle. Um, oh, and I did put, shoot, I forgot. So here by the lapis, I did put a little key charm on my Hikate candle. And then here I put a tree. I think this charm is technically supposed to be like a tree of life charm, but um, my ancestors once gave me a message that said, find me in the trees. So I have two pieces of red tiger's eye here. It just felt right. And this piece specifically was a piece that my grandparents found. My grandmother is still alive. My grandfather is not. And tumbled. I put this piece of amber, um, green amber or something like that, which again just felt right. And then these. These were my grandpa's magic coins. My grandpa did magic tricks and I loved his magic tricks and I was extraordinarily close with my grandfather. I miss him every single day. Um, he died in 2009, so it's been a long time now. Um, but my grandmother, after hearing the letter I wrote for him, that I read to just him at the funeral. Um, she cried and she gave me these, his magic coins, which he always carried in his pocket. Um, and she gave them to me. So these are from my grandpa. And then at some point I decided to, I wanted to wear them. So I decided to uh, have a hole drilled so I could wear them. So that's that. And that's what goes on here. And I am careful to make sure that I don't get wax on them. But everything I put on here is fairly easily cleanable with wax. This is my other seer stone. And this thing is wicked. I found this on a beach. Look at that. So it's got a line. It, like it's one of it's the most magical stone I've ever felt. It's got a line all the way through it. And you can't you can't necessarily see to tell, but if you look here in the center, it's got a hunk of like pure quartz in, in the center. And on the back, it's literally like a hunk of quartz in, in its center. I admit, I am a little tempted to dig it out and see what it looks like. But at the same time, and, and uh, who knows, maybe someday I will, but at the same time, this feels like such a just magical treasure it's i call it my dragon's eye and it's this it's again one of my two seer stones so i love this and i have it here i just put this on i just put a tree stump here here's a pocket watch i bought this for my wedding my grandfather who died was from wales um so i bought this to for my wife to wear on our wedding day. So it was like my grandpa was there with us. And here, I just recently decided that my tiger's eye skull, and I don't know if I'm going to keep this out here because I have a tendency to like, if I want to put on jewelry, I tend to go to one place. So this is a problem I have with like setting up altars is I want this here because I've recently decided this tiger's eye skull is connected. Like it feels like it's connected to my ancestors. Um, but if I put it here, I might forget to actually wear it. And here I have my Cosmovisions Oracle Tarot, which I've talked about. This is the deck I use to communicate with my ancestors. Here's my light seers because... Um, well, this is where I put the deck I'm working with in the evenings to further 
interpret the message, my message of the day from my ancestors. I, it might not be the light seers that stays here. I'm having some issues this month finding a deck that works, which I'll talk about when I do my September month and tarot video. And then in this bag, this is actually the bag that the funeral home stuck those magic coins in of my grandfather's. Um, so I've had this bag a long time and it's beautiful and such, such just stunning velvet. Um, this actually holds my geomantic visions coins. So these are the coins that go with the cosmovisions. And there's a coin for each being in the suit of being suit, which is what he did with the, um, which is what he did with the, uh, oh dear, with the um, court cards. The coins, unfortunately, left loose do chip off like the coating to make them look kind of like gold does chip. But that is those, and I love them. Um, so I'll put those there. Um, I haven't found a way to work with them yet, but it's something I am working towards. So that is there. And that's it at my desk. I'm going to put the light sears tarot away. I, I'll deal with that later. Oh, wait, no, sorry. I also have this candle holder. So this is really cool. If you haven't heard this story before, I was gifted that orb first. And then one day I found this orb. And I bought it. And this is actually like an agnetite quartz. So give me one second. So if you watched my intuition in my craft video, I don't buy, I buy my crystals intuitively. Um, and if there's space, I will link it. So I picked this and then I brought it home. And a while later, I decided to look it up in my crystal Bibles once I got the rest of them. So one sec here. Took me a second to find it. So I bought my Agnetite Quartz. I think it was like Rose Agnetite Quartz or something. Anyways, so I bought it. And I picked up my book. This one's in the Crystal Bible 3. And I looked for Agnetite Quartz. And I was reading it. And I had naturally been putting um, them opposite each other. And I would hold both of them. And I was reading it. And here it says... Named after the Sanskrit for fire, agnetite quartz is hematite-based quartz that has been designated one of the highest vibration stones for spiritual transformation and transfer of higher dimensional energies. This powerful quartz lights your inner fire. When placed on the base chakra, power flashes up the spine and shoots out of the top of the head to open the higher crown chakras before falling back through the body to fertilize your cells. It needs to be used with care unless you have already worked with high vibration crystals. Too rapid a kundalini rise causes physical and spiritual imbalances, blowing your mind or cells causing physical disturbances. So other stones such as mohawkite or smoky celestial quartz may be needed to assist with integration and grounding of these new energies. So here I have these two orbs that I've been placing as natural opposites and then I read about them and it turns out they are used to balance each other and i was like that was a really big like synchronous like oh my god um and then around it i have this one is aragonite i believe i got this in a witch's bounty box and then i have amatite if i'm remembering correctly and this is my um, agate and hydro, this, which was a birthday present from Zariah in 2020. So it's got uh, water 
trapped inside of it that's like a bazillion years old so that that is that over here so now let's go over to my other space so this is the view ignore the puzzle up there um, but I have my witch hat but let me quickly show you my shelf so up there I have waters I have old spell jars and this is our um, our wish our spell like wish jar for this year and then this is like my ingredient shelf so I've got all sorts of things I've got sprays I've got crystals ground up I've got little jars of dirt and various other things if you want a full tour of my like apothecary ingredient uh, shelf let me know in the comments down below um, I could do it for my members though if they wanted it too. and then here I have all my oils so I've got a whole ton of oils some of my herbs which are in bigger containers this is my favorite jar look at this jar is this not such a good jar um, to be to be clear I know this is white sage and white sage is endangered. I haven't purchased white sage in, in years. I'm using up what I already had left. I have more herbs in here. These are all from like the witch's moon and such. Down here I have pendulums and some various items that I've created, like witches ladders, and little clips. Oh, I actually really want to use that one. And then here, I I tried my hand at making witches ladders, and I got impatient, so I combined all the charms into this jar, so I can still use them. I can dig through and create a casting set, use them in candles. That's where I got that from. I have a magic box here. There's nothing in it at this moment, but I painted this years ago. That shelf is where my crystal Bibles go. Then I have a giant jar of crystal chips and a cloth for cleaning. And see, now my crystal or Bibles are back. So then this altar as I said, is my working altar. What am I missing from there? Hmm. So, I might set up another, like, altar set up up here. Don't know. But I have here, I put different pieces of art along. Here I have a selenite dagger. Uh, there I have my Medusa head. And um, this dagger that my wife gave me that's very Medusa. My witch's hat. My poppet, which admittedly I have not used, even though I still love it. And then I have candle snuffer. I have this, uh, what used to go here? Oh, the selenite bowl. The little selenite bowl used to go here. That's why this looks uneven and feels uneven. Anyways, so... This is a uh, snow globe my wife got me. This is my beautiful incense burner for like cones. My cauldron. My most amazing candle. This is a wick stick. Um, a Patreon now channel member made this for me. I'll try and get the link for their shop. I have my little mortar and pestle and then this is assorted things that makes me think of Cameron so I've got Cameron on one side my wife on the other and then my wand and then quickly I will show you my drawers so I like having my tools here my ingredients there so then what I do is like when I wanted to make my ancestor and Hecate candle I came over here I pulled out all the things I needed on this blank space and I did my work 
I crafted my work and then I brought it over to the spot where I would be sitting and using it. I do sometimes use this for like high ritual as well, but I just don't do a lot of rituals right now. In this drawer is my crystals and crystal like accessories. So that's like a crystal grid, but I have a bunch of crystals. In this drawer, oh, it's so good, is various containers. Just all sorts of various, various containers. And look at this. Is this not also a really good bar, a really good jar? So I've got all my jars. The next drawer, I need two hands. Uh, there we go. It's got various other supplies, papers, incense, um, herb, smoke bundles. This one, oh, this one is lavender. And I wish I could use it, um, but I have cats, so I can't burn it, but it smells so amazing. And then this one mm, is a uh, rosemary, I believe. I have my coin collection. Foreign coins. Rocks, shells. The limited supply of my candles I have left. I'm almost out. And then the bottom section is a mess too. It's not organized. Is all the rest of my like <sighs> decor. I really, really, really want to get like some shelves on here. So that way I can better organize down here. But I've got, and in that chest, I have more small candle holders. So I've got lots of candle holders, some statue things, um, some more stuff. Just various bigger things that I can't fit anywhere else, really. And that's it. That is the updated tour of my sacred space. If you want to see anything in more detail, like my crystal collection or my like apothecary ingredients. Sorry, I'm all twitchy now. Um, or if you want to hear about anything more in detail, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to entertain that idea for you. Uh, you're always welcome to request anything. And then otherwise, I'm going to let you go from here. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you can come on back nice and easily and hang out with me some more. In the comment section, let us know, do you have different surfaces like I do? I have a working desk, then I have my, then I have like my main altar, and then I have my working ritual ingredient, my crafting altar. Um, do you have different surfaces like that for different things? I'd love to hear about it. Uh, down in the comment section. And in the description box down below, you can check out my website. I'm a professional astrologer and tarot reader, and I specialize in combining the two to give even more customed and personalized things. So you can check that out. There's my email. You can send me any questions or requests you have. And there's a link to join my channel membership, which I have, and I'm so excited about it. So you can join us there. Um, yeah. And, and Oh, and there's also the join button beside the subscribe button. So that's it. I'm going to let you go here and I will see you again very soon. Lots of love. Bye.